Hey fam, I'm back. I want to talk about a project that I'm doing with my students. I used to live in New York, as I've probably said, and I got to know many people there. One person I got to know is a woman by the name of Cheryl, who works um, in the medical field. She works with addicted men and women to help them get back onto um, their feet, onto a good path in their life, um, to be employed and obviously to get them off of their various addictions. During the pandemic, she has seen a huge uptick in uh, homeless men and women and the addicted coming to the clinics where she works in Harlem. And so she reached out to me um, and we came up with a project where my students who are in fifth and sixth grades, as I've said, can help out not the people who are addicted or the clients of the clinic, but those who work there. So what did we come up with? We came up with this amazing project and we're going to create 110, I believe, quart jars of soup in a jar and cookies in a jar. Maybe you've never heard about that, but what it is is my students will get the dry ingredients for different kinds of soup and um, soups with pasta, soups with beans, soups with different um, assortment of different things, and also cookie mix, um, flour, sugar, all of that, the works. And they will be creating basically a jar of the dry ingredients of these two things, and then they'll decorate them and make them look pretty. One really cool aspect is that a lot of my students are very artistic and have basically decided that they're gonna organize and construct these things the same way that people who make sand art layer by layer will be, um, they'll be doing that. So it should be really interesting and it's a really great way for my students to reach out during the pandemic for people who have a lot less than they do, who are struggling and again, obviously in an effort to just help out wherever we can. So my students are uh, bound for Harlem and hopefully we'll be able to drop these off and make a lot of people happy. So I wanted to let you know and please um, let me know what you think about this project in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe. Which one are you making? Big picture. Which one is it? Coconut curry. What? This is just good. I know. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, AJ. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> No, stop. No, put it in. Dump it in. He's got all of them. Come and choose the recipe. One more of the recipes. What? Because I'm three or four. Probably. Okay. Why not? We'll have enough. Very nice. I have so many what soup are you making? I'm making country soup in a jar. Very cool. And what, like, what are you putting in it to make that? Um, I'm putting in barley right now. Okay, and what else? Spices and split peas and rice and lentils and stuff like that. Nice, nice and healthy. What are you doing? Um, I'm making labels for the tops of the thingies. Tops of the thingies. What are the thingies? The jars? Yeah. Five bean soup for life. Why are your beans angry? What are they? Smiling. They're what? They're smiling. Oh, they're smiling. Shows how much I know. Do you add a bullion cube into that? Very nice. I want to thank my friends from Harlem House that are up there that are not with me anymore for even coming up with the idea of showing your support for my organization. We help people who are addicted. We, we change people's lives, but during this pandemic, it has been very hard and my staff has been working extremely hard. Some have gotten sick. So this little gift and this little gesture that you're sending to us will warm their hearts and let them know that the work they do is very important. I want to formally thank you from the bottom of my heart. Can't wait to see you guys in the summer or when the COVID disappears, which I hope is soon. But I want to thank all of you so much from the bottom of my heart.